Hello, uh, it's Two Shot Cowboy here and uh, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be looking at Star Citizen. Um, I've been playing Star Citizen, Star Citizen even, for the last two weeks and I thought I would do a video to show you where I am up to after two weeks, what I'm currently doing in Star Citizen and more importantly what Star Citizen is if you have any interest in playing Star Citizen. So um, I'm not going to do a this is how you start Star Citizen from the beginning. I'm going to show you what I'm doing now, where I am. I'm going to give you a brief tour of some of the areas of Star Citizen, show you how I'm making money, show you how much money I've got and tell you a little bit about what Star Citizen currently is in its current alpha status. So this is Star Citizen as of today. Uh, so let's go and let's have a look at it. So we're going to, first of all, we're not going to do anything with this Arena Commander. There's three different options, Arena Commander, um, Star Marine and Universe. So we're going to be going and playing in the full universe today. So currently in Star Citizen, there is one area to explore called the Stantum system. When you spawn at the start of the game, you will spawn in a location within the Stanton system. And at the moment, you spawn where you last left um, a landing zone or a space station or whatever. Uh, so at the moment, I am at Area 18 on the Planet Art Corp. Um, call that after the uh, Corporation Art Corp that apparently bought the planet. Mining Corporation. So we will we will wake up in our bed in area 18 in the habitation area, which you do every time you join the game. And one thing you'll probably notice straight away is that the game looks fantastic. Uh, a lot of work's been done uh, over the last few years on the graphics and, well, it just looks really good. So uh, here we are. We're woken up in our room. Our, so well, I'll say our hotel room because we don't really own anything as yet this is you know we landed here yesterday and um, and this is the room that we've been given to stay in bit of a shower there bit of a kitchen but we don't need anything from there we're going to go straight on with it so off we go out of our room and we're in the habitation area uh, so we're gonna. What we're gonna have to do in order now. In a second. Oh, I'm quite hungry. In a second, we're gonna be coming out of Art Corp. Uh, sorry, we're gonna be coming out of the habitation area, and into the city of Area 18, which you can see out there. And what's pretty amazing about this game straight away is that all of this is explorable. It's not all necessarily built up and fleshed out yet but you can fly your spaceship all the way around it um, and you can explore a good amount of the city and a good amount of the buildings and there's a reasonable amount of stuff to do and people to meet and yeah, I'll let you get on with that and do it yourself if that's what you want to do um, but for now we're gonna, we've called an elevator and what we need to do is we need to go get out of this habitation area Okay, so these are quite interesting. That you can uh, you can take jobs delivering and p receiving and delivering parcels uh, with Covalex with these little parcel terminals. Quite good fun. But anyway, let's head outside. So here is Area 18. You can hear that there's there's a good amount of stuff going on. There's always a good amount of activity in these hubs, um, and quite amazingly designed, really. Um, but we won't spend too long looking round these, even though they look fantastic. Uh, down here, if you wander down here, all right. Uh, there's a weapon shop there, and you can um, you can go and buy weapons and all that kind of thing. But we're not going to do any of that today. We're just going to have a little wander around, a little run around, in fact. And the reason that I'm running is because I've got quite a long way to go. When you wake up at the habitation area. You are in um, 
you're in the city centre area, the sort of metro uh, business district on the planet of Art Corp. But we want to go... Uh, what's this here? I don't know if I've ever been down there. We'll have a look later. Anyway, we need to go to the transit system so we can get to the spaceport. Uh, so here we are, Arc Corp City Flight. And this is going to take us to the uh, City Flight Transit area. Oh, here we go. A bit quieter out here. And um, we're looking for the line to the spaceport. There we are. And um, we're going to go and get on the train. So there's a train waiting. That's good. Can we get on it? Before it goes. Oh, yeah, we got on. So this tram is going to take us to the spaceport. And it's a good opportunity for me to just have a little discussion about what... What... Um, <coughs> what Star Citizen currently is. Um, so uh, some people say, is Star Citizen a shooting game? Is it a space simulator? Is it a uh, space flight war game? Uh, really, it's kind of a bit of all of those. Um, I would say the best way to describe it currently in its current situation is it is a space experience. So basically you you are in space, you are flying around with a spaceship which you have to buy in order to get into the game so the spaceship thing is kind of part of it. Um, and you're kind of just carrying out tasks, it's kind of like a way to look at kind of what it would be like to live in space in a kind of sci-fi realised futuristic world. So that's kind of what it is at the moment. There's specific missions. If you want to go and shoot people, you, there's bounty hunting missions. If you want to go and mine, you can go mining and make money with mining ships and whatever. If you want to deliver packages just to get quick money, you can do that. Uh, and what we're going to do today is just a bit of trading. So we're going to go to a moon called Walla, which is located uh, just away from Art Court Planet. And we're going to pick up some Laranite, which is a precious commodity, and we're going to sell it back here for uh, profit. So here we are at the spaceport. Ah, well, this is a good start. Oh, there we go. Doors are open. So the f this is probably a good pop opportunity to um, say that Star Citizen is an alpha game. It's an alpha testing game. When you pay to join into it, you're paying to back the production of the game. Uh, when you buy your spaceship and to, to join the game. So there are problems with the game. It isn't finished and there are things that still need to be fixed. Um, but it is very playable um, as long as you understand what it is that you're getting into. Which, as I say, at this point in time is really a uh, space experience. So, for example, over here, we're in the spaceport now. So over here, for example, you can rent um, ship rentals. So if we go to this terminal here and we want to go mining, we could. We don't have a mining ship. We have one of these and a freelancer. Um, but we could rent a prospector, which is a mining ship. And that would cost, as you can see here, it shows you the cost to rent it for a particular period of time. So we currently have 365,000 UEC after two weeks play. Um, but we've, I've not been playing it all the time for two weeks and I've also spent a lot of that on renting things and goodness knows what. So um, this would cost us 41,000. Then we could go off mining. If we were going to put a good amount of time in that day to mining, we could make 40, 50,000 a go with mining and we might make a hundred thousand back so we might make a profit of sixty thousand or we might make more than that or we might make less than that so today we're going to take one of our own ships and do some trading so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to this 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 ship retrieval console so you'll find these in every spaceport and basically you you press F on your keyboard which brings up this cursor which is called the inner thought system so it allows you to interact with stuff Here's our ships. 
I bought an Avenger Titan when I started, which is a nice little ship. Um, and then everybody at the moment has one of these missed freelancers because of a problem with the game. So I'm using that at the moment because it's got a good amount of cargo space and it allows us to make money fairly quickly. So we click retrieve and then the system will tell us um, that our vehicle is being delivered to a hangar. So we'll find out, find out now where it's going to be delivered to. Hangar 2. So there we go. And now we can see a blue marker there which will move as I move. And that's basically telling me where my ship is. But that doesn't necessarily help you because in a lot of these spaceports it's quite complex how you get to the hangars. So we need to take, as it says up there, hangar elevators. So here's elevators to the hangars. So we'll choose the first elevator. The, the graphics, the attention to detail and like the background music and sounds and announcements is absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's very immersive, very immersive environment. Uh, so we were Hangar 2, so we select Hangar 2 with our Inner Thought selector and off we go. We can see our ship sort of moving around as our, as our elevator whizzes around to the right place. I mean, it says an elevator, but I think it's going around in all sorts of different directions, to be honest. I don't think it's just uh, going up and down. So here's Hangar 2, and here's the first look at our ship. So this is our MISC Freelancer. Uh, MISC, uh, it stands for something, can't remember what. This is the hangar. Looks like it's a front door hangar. Uh, one tip is do take notice of that if you're a front door hanger or an up above door hanger because if you try to go up and it's a front door hanger then you'll just crash into the ceiling. So there we go. Now we can e enter the ship through the door at the front or we can enter the ship through the back. I'm going to enter the ship through the back for now. I'll show you the door at the front later on. But look at look at the detail. It's just, I mean it is incredible. Uh, so we click the door and it opens. And then we can we should be able to jump up into the ship. It's a bit hard to get into the uh, freelancer. I do find um, it's easier to get into the Avenger. So this is our cargo hold, as you can see, it's nice and spacious. And then another little cargo hold, and then we're into the living area. And there's beds. There's a side door there that will take us out of the ship. There's beds here, which we can use the beds to log in and out of the game. So if you get to a location you want to take a break for a bit, then you can jump in it doesn't work particularly well um, uh, so what we need to do now is I'm gonna press you can do engines and power and all that kind of thing I'm gonna press R to go flight ready straight away I'm gonna thank you I'm gonna hold down my inner thought key and I'm gonna click menu I'm gonna click comms. I click area 18 landing services and they should give me permission permission to launch. Now the doors are going to take a little bit of time to open so I'm going to press F2. It's going to bring up my Moby glass which is a little computer you have on your wrist and I'm going to find where I am currently. Uh, so I'm currently here at Art Corp and I want to go to uh, Walla so I'm going to click Walla set route. It's going to appear here and that's going to help me to travel. You'll see what we do in a minute to travel. So the doors are open. We can take off just a little bit. Landing gear up. And we're going to move on. And out and away. And we're off. We're flying. We're going to get a little bit clear of the... Uh, clear of the spaceport but I am going to show you some of the sites so if we just have a little look for a second you can see here's the city that we talked about before Art Corp is just a city of big buildings and you can I've not done it but apparently you can go right down and um, and go on those buildings and all that malarkey now what we need to do now is get out of the atmosphere um, Uh, out of the atmosphere, which is what we're going to do now. And then we can try and 
and pick up um, on the quantum travel system. So if I bring up the quantum travel system, um, I'm just a little, a little. I uh, can't even show you it because I'll go off the screen. But basically, it's at the moment it's blocked. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to. We might have to travel to. Um, I'm going to try and travel to one of these comma rays first to get me out of the system because the travel to the uh, right. So now it should be easy to travel to the comma ray. So now we can see that the comma ray is um, is coming up on the screen, and the comma ray is this side of the planet, whereas the other planet that we want to go to is on the other side of the planet. So we're blocked by the planet. So what we're going to do now is see what it tells me. So we need to exit the atmosphere, which usually means getting to 10,000 feet. So I'm just going to hold down the space bar. That lets me rise quicker, um, and we're going up. And it'll go blue when it's possible for us to to get out of the atmosphere. So what we're trying to what we're doing here at the moment is we're just travelling under our own um, normal means of travel with our normal engines when we when we line this up now for quantum travel what will happen is like a jump drive you know like um hyperspace or whatever you want to call it um once it's lined up we just hit b and now our computer will automatically fly us through quantum space to arrive at our location much quicker there you go you can see us flying through quantum space and we're going to arrive at our location, which is this comma ray. Um, and now what we want to do is just select our, lo the, our travel location again. And we're going to move away from the comma ray so we don't crash into it. And we're going to line ourselves up with our new target, which is Walla. And that's... No, it's not very far away in the grand scheme of the Stanton system, but it's still it would still take us a long time by normal means to travel there. So we're going to quantum travel again. And we're off. Do, 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 do. So there's quite a lot of quantum travel involved in the game. Um you need to do this to get between different areas in the Stanton system and different planets and even now to get to places on the planet surface we'll need to quantum travel again so we're now back under our own steam again under regular power but we're going to pop the quantum system back on and we're now going to look for a location so what we're looking for here is mining area 45 so there it is and we're going to wait for that to line up and we're going to press quantum travel and that that um, location was actually on the other side of the planet so the quantum travel system is going to take us around the planet now uh, to land at area 45 So, as you can see, we're now um, on the planet's surface and we're increasing our speed towards the location. So, I'm just going to press quantum travel because that shows me where the location is. So, it's about 18 kilometers, 16 kilometers away. So, we have to be careful here because we can, uh, some of these planets have a very uh, shallow atmosphere, less dense atmosphere, and that means that your craft accelerates very quickly and keeps traveling at a high speed and it becomes very difficult to slow down so we can kind of see where we're going we just have to be careful of these mountains because it's just on the other side of the mountains I'm going to bring the speed right down to uh, the blue area so in the blue area it means that the ship can stop itself and easily whereas in, in the red area it means the ship will just continue to keep um, 
going, I'm going to request landing permission. And it's just behind this mountain here, so what I'm going to have to do is, just as we fly a little bit past here, there it is, I can see it there. I'm going to fly down, landing gear down. And we're just going to take the bottom corner of this landing pad here. There's various different ways to land. I like to come in fairly slow like this. Um, find a spot on the landing pad. Get roughly in the right position. And then I should be able to descend here. I can have a look outside if I'm not in 100% sure. No, I'm a, I'm a bit too n short. So I'm just going to... There we go. And we're down. Turn our engines off. And then we can exit the seat, and we're going to buy some laranite. So I'm going to use the side door to get out. Um, this is because in some of these areas, people will, will hang around, wait for people to land, and then get on board their ship if you leave the doors open. So the back door stays opened up by default. Uh, so this the back door is often a, um, something that people will try to jump into in order to oh not much atmosphere here uh, in order to get on your ship and then as soon as you take off and the weapons are available you can uh, they'll try and kill you and steal your ship so good anti-piracy technique is don't um, leave the doors open we're going to cycle the airlock and which should let us into the station here we go and we're at area 45 and if you notice there is one of these shipping boxes again so again if I had a look uh, there may be a job available to pick up a box from this shipping box and take it somewhere else but there may also not be uh, I'll just do that quickly now in fact so if I press F1 and I go to missions see so all these delivery pilots for mo there we go a shipment waiting to be picked up at mining area 45 and delivered to L19 admin office in Lawville uh, so I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll accept that job, I've accepted it, see if there's any other delivery ones for Area 45. Yes, and that's going to Hurst and HMS Stanhope, so I'm not going to take that one, uh, I'm only going to take one just to demonstrate, but first thing we're going to do is we're going to buy... Uh, Laranite. So there's my freelancer. There's my Laranite. Oh, there isn't very much available. There's only 25 SCU. Okay, so this does happen from time to time. We were here not very long ago and we bought 66 SCU, which is a cargo unit, standard cargo units. Um, and we appear to have wiped it out, but also other people could have been in the meantime. So, I'm going to purchase that Laranite. Got it. I'm also going to purchase some Diamond. Uh, just bear with me one second. Uh, yeah, I'm going to purchase something else to go with this Laranite. I'm just having a quick look online uh, to see what the best option is that I can purchase to go with this Laranite. Well, I tell you what, I'm just going to buy the diamond anyway. So, purchase diamond, got it. So, we've purchased some diamond and some Laranite. We won't make as much money on the diamond. Oh, we nearly forgot our box. So, this is how the shipping works. It tells me there that this is my pickup box. So, I go up to the box and I click pick up. And I wait. 
and there's our box so we click carry and we pick our box up and off we go now sometimes those machines in as in real life fail uh, and go wrong and things don't work properly and so yeah sometimes you can't get your boxes or you can't deliver your boxes or you can't you know your boxes don't go in properly or they're still there when the door, open, door opens again uh, now we'll have to open the back door now because we've got a box so let's do that now another bug at the moment is that you can't see your um, stuff in the back of the thing so this should be full of diamond and laranite I'm going to place my box on the floor but it's not as you can see but it is but it's a bug in the system close the back door goodbye area 45 oh there's so we've got some back in the seat and we're gonna go and we're going to go, instead of going back to Art Corp now to sell the Laranite and the uh, Diamond, we're going to go to Lawville and Hurston, which is a different planet. So you'll get to see somewhere else. And um, we're going to sell the Laranite and the Diamond over there. And we are going to drop off our box at the same time. So let's go. Time for takeoff. Landing gear up. Uh, we press C, we get autopilot and we can set our destination, we can press B for quantum travel and <coughs> I don't know why we can't see Lawville there as an option but I'm just going to go into here and so if I come right out you can nice now see this is the whole of the Stanton system so I'm here at Art Corp and its little arrangement of planets and we're going to go over here to Hurston and that's where we're going to so we set route for Hurston as you can see and now you can see it's got Hurston thankfully and we press B and off we go now this is a significantly longer travel than we did before uh, we've did travel 22,000 kilometres, so I'm going to uh, pop off and I'll come back to you when we get near to Hurston. So we're nearly uh, back at nearly at Hurston. We've got 5 million kilometres to go. Um, so I've come back because I want to say a few things about what I think of Star Citizen. Uh, I'm not going to have much time because that's going to get down really quickly, but I really like it. Um, it isn't a fast-moving, fast-paced shoot-em-up game, although... If you want to do that, there is an opportunity to do that. There are missions for bounty hunting and security and clearing places that have been overrun by people. Um, if you want to deal, you know, if you want to buy and sell um, drugs and other such things, you can do that. Uh, you might get caught by the police as you get stopped. Um, there's there's talk of prison gameplay coming in in the next patch um, and there's patches every three months so every three months they're adding loads and loads of stuff and new features to the game um, and sorting out some of the problems that exist in the game so here we are we've arrived at Hurstim and what we need to do as we said before is we need to find our the location that we're going to which is Lawville now as soon as our quantum drivers cool down, we will lo relocate and quantum travel over to Lawville Spaceport. Um, Lawville and Art Corp are two of the newer areas in the game and they look absolutely fantastic. Um, and off we go, Lawville. I should also add that when we were talking about um, dealing drugs and getting caught and all that kind of stuff, I've not done done that, but um, there is a crime stat system. So, oh, look at that. Look at that view coming into Lawville. So there is Lawville. 
doesn't it look fantastic? I mean, I have to say, from a graphics point of view, from an art point of view, some of these locations look absolutely brilliant. Uh, so we'll just slow ourselves down there and we'll request a uh, landing right below us that you can see is the spaceport. Um, and what we're going to need to do is land at the spaceport and then we're going to have to travel again on the uh, transit system to the big uh, building that you saw at the top there. That is the central business district and we're going to travel there to sell our commodities and also to find the admin office to um, deliver our box. Uh, delivering boxes like this is the best way to start. So if you're going to start SAR Citizen now, then the first thing I would do is um, set off delivering boxes. Go over to a place called Grim Hex, which you'll be able to find. In fact, you're probably even worth starting from Grim Hex when it tell, asks you where you want to start from. Um, pick up as many boxes as you can. Um, and then um, take them uh, on a delivery run. Now, lots of people have done videos about how to get make the most money doing these delivery runs with multiple boxes and also trading. Um, but and uh, maybe I'll do one as well um, if uh, in the upcoming weeks, um, showing you one of the delivery runs I've been doing that I got from someone else's video. So I cannot see at this point a uh, an assigned landing point. I'm gonna ask again. Orville's one of the Lawville is one of the tricky Orville. Lawville is one of the tricky ones. There we go. So we can see that in the middle of the screen there is my assigned landing bay. So I just have to get to that without it telling me that um, I'm going over a restricted area, which is one of the issues that I seem to keep running into with these landing pads at Lawville. So you can see that Lawville looks absolutely fantastic. Look at the the, the uh, artwork is just stunning. Um, and a lot of this is explorable. Um, all of the Tessa Spaceport, the Central Business District, a couple of other bits and bobs, the gates of the city on the outer edges of the city, which are areas where sometimes you have to deliver things to. Uh, but also you can get you can land here and then get transit over to those places if you want to. And you can see there's a little door opened up in the floor, which is going to be our uh, hangar. And you can see there's lots of other of those doors all around to give you an idea of the scale of the spaceport here and how many hangars could be in use. And all those green triangles that you can see are other players. So all those green triangles are other people who are already in um, Hurston. And um, you can see on the left there's a guy just landing. There on the left, he's just trying to squeeze his, I think it's a freelancer the same as mine, into that uh, thing, into the landing bay. So I'm going to try to just, uh, there's a couple of ships there on the right, there's a hammerhead there on the right, and a constellation. Oh, there we go, so it's done it again. So this is what it keeps doing to me, which is just a little bit annoying. It's autopilot override, um, and then I can't get, I struggle to get to my landing space. Which is about here, so I'm just going to bring myself to a stop here, and I'm going to just go outside and have a look, and then we're going to descend down. Move across. I like to try and do the landing trim in the cockpit, but... Lawville is one of the places where I find that often a little bit difficult because of this weird um, thing with the autopilot and lining up with the little boxes as well is just not always that easy. I'm just going to cheat and do it from behind view for today. Landing gear down. There is room to get in. Sometimes they do give you some very tight uh, ones we can go back in the front now now that we're in we're a little bit far back so we'll just move forward and down we go and we're down there we go Whew. and we're in pad 007 excellent 
Uh, and then we just need to get out of the seat. And off we go. And as what we need to do is go and get our box. So we need to deliver our box. So open door. Out we go. Very important, get into the habit of doing this. Closed door. And off we go. So we need to just find the arrival area. Heavy cargo uh, over there. Arrivals. Doors have closed now above us. And there's the ship. So let's go and enjoy Lawville. So this is telling us this is Lawville arrivals. Hello, security. There's very good security at Lawville. One of the things at Lawville that's interesting is if you get a crime stat, so if you get a crime rating because you shot someone or whatever you did, um, if you come to Lawville, I'm going to go to Tessa Spaceport. If you go to come to Lawville, these guards will kill you if you have a crime stat, and then you don't have a crime stat anymore. So if you get a crime stat and you want to get rid of a crime stat, pop over to Lawville, and as soon as the guards see you, they'll shoot you and you won't have a crime stat. So here we go, this is um, Tessa Spaceport. Again, another beautifully uh, detailed environment. I think he's had a few too much to drink. And here's the guards I was talking about earlier. Oh yes, not a happy man. Here's Rantals again, we can rent a ship. Uh, and uh, you can buy ships there, that's the ship buying in-game, ship buying area, there's one. And then there's the ship retrieval, but we have to travel. So we have to travel to the um, area where we can sell our stuff and deliver our stuff. So we want to go to the admin office. So I think that the admin office is, yeah, it's a good, good distance yet yeah, to go through the security areas. Uh, and through here, and then we have to get on the train, I think. Let's have a... Do you want to see me running with a the box? There we go. To Metro Centre to Central Business District. I can't remember whether it's Metro Central or Business District. Oh. Let's go to Metro Centre. I can't remember which one we have to go to. So here's the little train at Hurston. And the train at Hurston is different from the trains at... Ah, um, oh, just got on in time. Off it goes. The train at Hurston is different from the train at um, Area 18 in that it's like a proper train rather than like a floating space thing. Take the time to view Hurston on the way, of course. A lot of armour for a delivery guy, really. Imagine if DHL turned up at your door with the uh, armour and a gun like that. Probably uh, be a little bit uh, perturbed. But hey, even the train is nicely um, nicely organised. So, I'm not sure whether Metro Centre is the right place that we want to go to. But we've chosen to come here. So, um, let's get off and see what happens. There we go. Exit. So we'll just go back into first person view so that we can see, oh I don't think we've got, oh no delivery drop off 50 metres, there we go. There's somebody uh, somebody else trying to play there, getting into all sorts of hassle. Oh I've got me box.
Now we're going to try and find this admin office. And this is the residences uh, where you wake up. So if you if you log out of the game on Lawville, this is where you'll come back. And there we go. There's our little Kovalex box. Haha. -ha. So what we do now is, fingers crossed, drop off, and hopefully it registers it, because that has been a problem. And I don't think I've used this box before. And then we place our box on the shelf. And we make 6,000 UEC. Yes, excellent. Congratulations, object complete. Delivered to admin office in Lawville. So, um, what we need to find now is where we go to sell stuff. Is it this here? No. So, let's go and find the trading place. It's usually the admin office, but it's obviously not the same admin office. So I need to go and have a look and see what I can find. So let's have a look. Uh, is it this way? Mm, something this way. Admin office, here we are. I thought it was here. I remember from coming once before. And then in the admin office there'll be these trading terminals. Trading and shipping console. So we click that. And we want to sell what we have. So select a location. Misc Freelancer. And it will now see what you have. Mineral. Laronite. Oh. Ah. I don't want to buy it. Oh. Sometimes you have to try different ones. I wonder if we have to go and sell it somewhere else. Now there's no locations to sell to try. Now this is a trading console, so that one is for selling stuff you've mined. And this one over here is for selling stuff that you bought in your sh in your ship. Uh, so this one is the one we want. So sell freelancer. No, it's not going to buy my stuff. So now I've come all the way to Lawville and uh, and I can't sell it. So what I'm going to have to do is go all the way back to. Um, Spaceport. So this is the only thing is that you um, some of these places are very smalling, sprawling and they do take a little bit of getting used to getting around them find your way around but just I mean sometimes you just have to stop and look at the detail uh, there is a map there, which is quite useful, but some of the detail is just absolutely fantastic. I mean, it really is fabulous. Uh, spaceport line, this way. So we're going to travel again. We've done our package delivery. And we're going to... Spaceport line. Uh, does the train in the station always good? Can we get on it? Hopefully we can, because it's departing in now. And we're off. Ah, okay. So, what happens is, if you park your ship in a hangar, you only get a certain amount of time to go out do a delivery or buy something or whatever you're doing and return back to your ship. Um, most of the time, I don't even worry about that. I just get on with what I'm doing and let them take my ship away. 
um, there is a problem that if you put things in your ship like delivery boxes and then it gets taken away then you lose those boxes or you lose the uh, delivery that you were doing so when I do the video about how I do delivery runs then you'll be able to see what I do with my boxes uh, before I put them in in the ship basically I store my boxes up in a corner and then I put them in the ship when I get the ship back so what we're going to do is the ship you'll notice that the blue um, the blue ship icon has now disappeared back at the spaceport so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, oh we're not going that way uh, the blue icon for the ship has disappeared so the ship has been put into storage so someone else can use the landing bay so what we're going to do now is when we uh, when we get back there we're going to have to go to the ship retrieval terminal and retrieve a ship which is no big deal really uh, it's worth noting as well that if your ship gets blown up or something weird happens to it or lost or left on an island or stolen or left on a planet rather on an island um, there's another chap here at one of the ship retrieval terminals um, then you have to file a claim for that ship so let's retrieve the ship the same one as before hangar 9 so you also have to remember what hangar your ship has been delivered to because in some of these places particularly Lawville there are a heck of a lot of hangars so we will uh, call an elevator pop to hangar 9 and we will head back to Arcorp. We don't need to go to Arcorp, we could go somewhere else, but I know that I can sell the diamond and the uh, Laranite at Arcorp. Hangar 9, click. It's got lovely music as well, Star Citizen. You can hear the music playing all the time in the background and it's really nice so there she is there's the freelancer uh, are we an overhead hanger yes we're an overhead hanger so we have to go up and out again quite important to try and take note of that because if you're sitting there thinking that you're going up and actually you should be going out backwards because you've parked it in forwards then you know may not uh, work out for you so let's go Still don't think we've got all the cargo showing up in the ship. Oh dear. Okay, this is slightly frustrating as well. Quite often in the um, freelancer, it does put you in bed when you just want to get in the cockpit. So, uh, yeah. So now what I need to do is go to exit bed, not log out, and it will put me up. So. If I was somewhere not not obviously in a hangar on uh, Hurston, uh, but if I was like at a planet and I wanted to log out and go for a break and come back and log back in, in theory you can jump in a bed, log out, and when you come back you'll be in the same place. What I've found recently is that um, when you do that, you end up it puts you back in the game in the right place, but you're in space, which is not necessarily a bad thing. And if you need to take off and go somewhere else, then obviously. Um, if you're not going to be too bothered that you're up in space but if you wanted to be on the ground because you wanted to buy or sell something uh, then obviously you might be a bit annoyed that you uh, that you're now in space so we're going to ask for takeoff clearance because they have to open the door for us I've asked can have a little look outside to see have they opened the doors I think they have opened the doors and we're out there we go so we're just going to go straight up and we're going to press C for uh, And we're going to head out of uh, 
head out of Lawville. There we go. Leaving a beautiful red Lawville sunset behind us. Look at that for a beautiful shot. The end of a lovely trip to Lawville. Anyway, let's get back on with the task at hand. So we want to go back to Art Corp Area 18. So where are we at the moment? We are at uh, Hurston here. So we're going to go to Art Corp. That route. Out we come. Spool up our quantum drive. And I'm hoping that Art Corp's not going to be blocked, but... There we go. Now we just need to exit the atmosphere, as usual. It's usually about ten th eight to ten thousand feet, so I think not far to go before we get get the go ahead. There we go. So we'll just wait for our quantum drive. You have to line up the little diamond with the diamond. Press B, and off we go. Um, so, we talked a little bit about it before, when we were coming to the end of quantum travel, but I'm going to talk a little bit more about it now. Um, and then, um, what do we think of Star Citizen as it is at the moment? Well, I, I really like it. Um, I think it's got a long way to go, but I think I can see where they're trying to get to, and I can see that they're doing a good thing. Um, I'm quite enjoying playing the game at the moment. It is a little bit repetitive. Um, I've been playing a lot of the delivery box missions, uh, particularly combining the delivery box missions to try and earn more money because the delivery box missions are worth about 8,000 credits each. So if you can do five delivery missions from Grim Hex at the same time and then when you go to deliver those boxes, you pick up more boxes. Yeah, you can easily make 100,000 in a in a couple of hours uh, with that kind of delivery run. So I've been doing a few of them. I got that idea for that delivery run off a guy called KJH, by the way, who has really great videos, so just a shout out to him. But I might show you uh, my way of doing the KJH delivery run um, and another video. Uh, but yeah, start at Grim Hex, do delivery runs to various different places. It's the personal delivery runs you want to do, the ones under the personal tab, because they pay the most money. Uh, combine it with some of this buying and selling of materials, and you should be able to make 100,000 fairly easily in a couple of hours doing a delivery run. Um, on top of that, you can mine if you want to. I've tried doing about rented a prospect to try doing a bit of mining. Um, and uh, that was quite interesting. Didn't make anywhere near as much money as I've been told you can make, but I think I went to the wrong places. I also didn't do any hand mining, which I think I've been told that is good. I've tried hand mining uh, with the cave rescue missions, so again, might do one of those another day. Um, and they didn't work very well for me either. Got shot. Um, people have been camping out uh, on the end of the caves. I found some of the short delivery runs just from Port Alazar to Selin and um, Daymar to be uh, good delivery runs, doing the distilled spirit runs. Uh, you can make 7,000 credits a go with the freelancer doing that. So I started doing those to build up my credits with, the de with also doing the delivery box runs. Uh, and I've got to 300 odd thousand now. So not too bad, really. The problem is that a lot of in-game stuff that you can buy, I mean, I bought armour and guns and things, they're quite cheap, but a lot of the stuff you can buy is very expensive, so you need to earn a lot of credits, so 4 million or so, to buy a bigger cargo ship. Um, but what I have done is rented, tried renting an Andromeda Constellation ship, which is a bigger cargo ship, so it takes 96,000 uh, sorry, 96 standard cargo units rather than the 66 of the Freelancer. And actually, it's a nice big ship and it's quite good fun to fly. So um, that was quite good fun. So I might show you that in another video as well, another day. Uh, so here we are back at um, Art Corp. And now we need to just wait for the cool down and then find Area 18. And we can hopefully 
be back where we started and um, sell our stuff. So let's just find area 18. Art Court. OM3. No, none of these are it. I think it's that. You you learn to kind of spot the shape of the symbols. They must denote like a big city. Uh, so that's area 18 there. So off we go. There's somebody down there. I can see the little yellow, uh, little green triangle probably landed on a roof of something for a laugh. I'm going to fly really close to this tower. People can see me from the windows flying past. <coughs> Lying over the rooftops. Area, uh, the planet of Artcorp appears to be pretty much all skyscrapers. The whole planet. Quite amazing. Uh, so we're, we're heading for that flashing beacon, which is the uh, spaceport. So I'm hoping that we're going to get assigned a landing bay soon. There we go. We click for landing permission. And we'll get assigned then a um, a landing bay. We'll see a little landing bay symbol appear. Well, we should do. Let's pop the landing gear down. Slowest bit of the game is kind of the spaceport bit, I would say. The kind of port is okay. You can land quite quickly, you're on the pad quite quickly, and you can go and do your trading quite quickly. Uh, but Hurston and um, Area 18 is fairly slow in terms of getting you. Right, so we haven't got a pad yet. They just come to a stop over here then. Hmm. This is a little annoying. So I'm just going to stop. I'm just going to stop there. Um, we'll try and try again and see if we can get landing clearance. Hmm. Let's try again. Come on. And um, where is the assigned landing bay? Okay, it's just there. So we'll move forward again. I can see where we're going. Move forward slowly. Uh, we're just going to do a little cheat again. We've got one of the really little ones. The really little ones are really annoying. Oh, we had our landing gear down already. Oops. Oopsie. So once we get over that red line there, then, then we're out inside the restricted area. So then we can drop ourselves down. Makes landing a little bit easier when you're a bit lower. <laughs> And then we should have a green. So I'm going to try and do an automatic landing. See if I can get that to work. So basically when we get ourselves down to that green area there. Should be able to do an auto land. Not yet. No. Nope. 
No, it still won't. Uh, do I have to be in front facing view, do you think, to go to do an automatic landing? No. Oh, a little bang there. Just move forward a little bit. Oh no, that's not looking good. <laughs> what am I hitting? Um, we're going down. Oh, this is a bad landing. This is, I mean, it's not a bad landing because we're landing, but it's not a pretty landing. There we go. Excellent. So, let's try again to sell our stuff. We are back at uh, Art Corp. Area 18, which is a really nice um, location. Going out the side door. <coughs> uh, let's have a look. Where where do we go here? Over here? No, behind. There we go. Arrivals Landing Bay. And we want to select the elevator. And we're going to go to uh, Riker Memorial Space Park. Now I know where to go and sell at um, Art Corp. So I can go and go straight there, which is good. And off we go. Da -da -do, da -da -do -do. Let's run over to the transit platform. Quick smart pajamas. Do 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 city flight. Hark up city flight. Oh it's one in the station. Always good when there's one in the station. In we go. Let's go up to the front and have a lot. It was daytime now, so we can see uh, a bit better as we fly over the city. Um, what's going on? Do 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 do. Yeah. So a gift of you was nighttime when we left. We've been. From Art Corp, we've flown to Walla, we've picked up um, some Laranite, some Diamond. We've now flown, then we flew to Lawville so we could deliver a package and hopefully sell the stuff there, but I didn't realise that you can't sell those there. So then we have flown from Lawville back to here. So we made £6,000 for delivering our box. We're going to make maybe the same again with this trade, so we'll have made 12000 altogether, which is pretty good going for an hour or so. Um... I mean, you can make a lot more than that in an hour, but I always try to make something. So whenever I come on board, come on and play for a bit, I always try to pick up a delivery or whatever. And um, The next video I'll do, I'll do a video showing the doing the uh, multiple boxes trade run, um, which, as I say, other people have done this. I haven't invented it, um, but it is when you see... It, it, everybody works out that there's a trade run when they first start doing... Um, Star Citizen. It's one of the first things you realise is you can make money by delivering the boxes. I think what makes this trade run different is that people have did realise that you can do multiple of them at the same time and store the boxes up in your ship without losing them. Um, so yeah, we'll do that next. We'll do a trade run video. Uh, sorry, a delivery, uh, delivery box video. But first, we're going to be back here at Arp Court Plaza. And um, we're gonna go. Yeah, here we go. Yay! This is this place is fantastic, and there's all sorts of things to explore around here. There's people. You go round the back alleys here. There's people hanging about that you can talk to, and all sorts of stuff going on. But we won't deal with that today. So here we are at the trade development division, and we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna sell our uh, commodities. <sighs> So 
So find a screen, touch screen to start. We want to sell, and we're going to sell from our freelancer, which I'm sure we bought diamond as well. I'm sure we bought diamond, and the diamond has not registered, so we may have we may have lost some money there. But hey ho, or maybe we just didn't. Maybe we just didn't click the button to buy the diamond. Uh, so we now have 380. So we've made some money today. Um, we may have lost some money on some diamond, or we may not have. Um, but there you go. Uh, there's a brief uh, introduction to Star Citizen. Um, that's where I am at the moment. Well, I'm here, really, um, on Art Court. So uh, I'm just going to take a seat here, if I can. No? I want to take a seat and have a sit and uh, watch the view. Maybe I'll take a seat over here with this chap. Oh. Well, you can find seats to sit down on. Uh, but for now, I'm going to say goodbye. And uh, that's all for me. And uh, see you in a future video.